Hey, what's up, big Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the fourth beta of the Delta emulator. For those of you that don't know what Delta is, it is an emulator that is currently in beta and being developed by the creator of GBA for iOS. Now, this emulator will have the same consoles as GBA for iOS, which is Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, and it will have two new consoles, which is Super Nintendo and Nintendo 64. So, if this is the first time you're hearing about Delta, I highly recommend you check out my first video on the first beta of Delta, which you can see by clicking on this card right here. It has a ton of awesome information, but in this video, I'm just going to be focusing on what is new in this fourth beta, which is Game Boy Color and Game Boy games are now supported in Delta. Now, I know this is something that was in GBA for iOS before and really isn't new, but with this installment, there's only one emulator missing from Delta and that is Nintendo 64. So I cannot wait to check out Nintendo 64 when it comes to the beta and I hope you all are excited for that as well. But for now, let's take a look at this Delta Beta 4 and see what's new. Alright, so you are now looking at the Delta application. If you remember the first beta, the Delta icon has kind of changed a little bit since then. And some other things have changed since the first beta. They've all been pretty minor bug fixes, but one of the big things is that you can now add your own custom artwork to your game. So as you can see, I have Pokemon Prism here, and if I click on it and I select change artwork, it'll allow me to put any photo from my photos album to be the cover of that game. Now, as Delta is still in beta, for some reason this crashes on my iOS device, but I'm sure it'll be fixed in the future and is an awesome feature that I've been looking forward to because I play a lot of Pokemon ROM hacks and the database that Delta pulls from doesn't really have the cover images for that game. So to keep everything unison, I like to put my own cover images on those Pokemon ROM hacks to make everything look a lot nicer. But as you saw, all the other big games, popular Game Boy and Game Boy Color games automatically get their artwork once you import them into Delta and that's why the other ones had it. So right now you're looking at some Game Boy Color gameplay footage. I'll be showing Game Boy footage as well, but as I was playing it, it was super smooth. Um, just like the Game Boy Advance and Super Nintendo emulation in Delta, it is just amazing. I cannot wait for Nintendo 64 to be added to Delta because based on all the other emulators, I know that the Nintendo 64 emulation is going to be super smooth and we really haven't ever got that on an iOS device. So I'm super excited for that and I hope you all are excited as well. I'm sorry that this video was a little short. There hasn't been many big changes in the Delta beta, but as soon as Nintendo 64 comes to the Delta beta, I will have a video on that and maybe some other cool features that will be coming as well. As I mentioned in the first Delta beta video, if you watch that one or maybe you didn't, cheat codes and every other nice setting that you see in the main menu is working flawlessly, which is awesome. I know people are huge fans of cheat codes, so those are working really well. And that is pretty much it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please hit that like button as it helps out the video tremendously and I really appreciate it. Comment down below what feature you are most looking forward to in the Delta Beta because I would love to hear what you all have to say or maybe a feature that's not coming to the Delta Beta but you wish was there. Anyways, with all that being said, if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe by clicking that subscribe button on screen now to be notified whenever I upload a video because as I mentioned, Nintendo 64 is gonna be coming soon to Beta and you don't wanna miss it. So as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and welcome to the operation.